Hey guys, welcome back to Sekiro. So last time that we left off, we actually beat the Demon of Hatred, and I raged like fucking crazy. That fight was... That was hard to keep my calm, guys. <laughs> that was really hard. But so my guess was that it was Tengu. Um, that was pretty much the guy they kept telling us to go kill the assassin guys. Second guess was the sculptor, but I didn't think that... That was like, that just wasn't my first guess, honestly, because of the fact that the old lady was where Tango used to be. But I guess it was the sculptor, which is kind of sad to think that he was reduced to that, you know? I'm wondering, like, if I should go get these prayer beads before I start whatever the final boss is, because I really want to check it out, guys. I have been, it's like, been a week that it's itching at me like hearing people say it's really hard hearing people say whatever it is is a cheat like i need to know what it is so there's absolutely no guarantee that i'm a witness i mean there's just no guarantee let's just get into it guys oh what's this this is where i'm supposed to go right no? Guys, I don't know. I think so. Okay, cool. Whew. It took me a while. And I think he just came down here, didn't he? No, he didn't. Thank God. I could not for the life of me figure out where I'm supposed to go. Let's rest. And might as well. Oh, we're supposed to eavesdrop? Oh, fuck. No! Can I. Can. Can. Is this real life? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Hey, what's this? You can't come out here, can you? Let me see this real quick. I was supposed to eavesdrop. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay. So... Can I get back? Oh, I have to... Go through there? Damn it! Damn it, guys. What a pain in the butt. Where'd they go? <gasps> Ooh! I'm dead. Rest! Oh my god. Oof, I wanna hear this. I wanna hear this. Oh. Is he the last boss? Is it Jenny? No, not Jenny. Can I use this? Will this work? Get, I think I should have gotten the backstab on you know who. I can't see. Can't see. Let's start over. Because we can get we can totally get it. Ooh. We can totally get a backstab on you know who. Wait, we're still in busy, so. No, 
you can. So it's really fighting. But how? Like, how do you, how are you supposed to do this fight when there's two of them? Is this the, just a point to like make something really hard? Uh, like, what is the point of this? What's the point of this one? Even if I fought them, I wouldn't have enough prayer beads for the last boss, so I'm kind of like, fuck them. Supposedly with the last one anyways, afterwards you can come back and explore the world. If you guys really want me to kill those mofos, sure, but I'm not really. I just want to see what the last boss is. It's like all I've wanted. And those two together, that's such BS right now, like, I'm not really in the mood for that. We need, if, or if you really want me to go back, then I'll go back, um, another time. But not right now. I can't go up there. There we go. Um. I want this, whatever it is. Cool. I don't want to touch that yet. I don't know what's going to happen. Do we have everything over here? Nope. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's let's see what this is. Oh, we have 3 oh, we have 3 skill points too. I'm glad I looked. What do we want? Suppress sound, lane skill, suppress movement noise. We don't really need that right now. Oh, Cost spirit emblems to use. Hold the stance to intercept all or at will. Secret technique. Mm. Increase the amount of time. Buddhist candy is effective. Well, what's this? Increase the amount of scent obtained from enemies and improves item drop rates. Probably this one is what we'd want. But we don't even have a lot of Buddhist candy, so I don't know. What's this? Midair prosthetic tool. Let's do that. That's what I want. Hi, yay, yay, guys. I don't remember if I rested. Let's just go into it. We're just gonna go look at this guy. Because I definitely don't. Think. I mean, like, my, my guess is it's Jinichiro now. Who else would it be? Honestly. Who else would it be? Oh. Oh. I'm nervous. Nervous. Same day as fighting the Demon of Hatred. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. This might be a short episode, guys. Can I sneak? So we have dragon tears and um what was the other one? Some other things. Fuck me Dragon Tears and some snow tear shit. Ice tears. He has a mortal blade too. So did he hurt Kuro? Yes. 
Oh, you mean this way. I'm so nervous. I hate him. This is gonna be awful. <coughs> this is gonna be awful. So is this the last boss? Is this it? I didn't even notice. So that takes away your health then. Oh, what? Why is he so big? Oh shit, okay. Um, let's go. Should I be using it against him? me yeah you can't really get away from that okay 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 so that takes your health away what to do against that do you think that the umbrella would work i feel like the sabi madari would actually work on him it feels that way um the mortal blade seems like it might take too long to get to him oh my god shut up can i can i heal them real quick is this it is this the last guy i just what am i doing what am i thinking should i wait no hold on let me look how many do i have only one so let's not do it yet I don't even know if it matters to do it or not. I've just been doing it because I don't fucking know. So do I have to watch that scene every single- Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So, it takes health away, but- Fuck. Fuck me. No, 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 no. He knows I need to heal. He knows, guys. I need to heal. No way he's dead, guys. No way he's dead. What happens now? Oh, god damn it. Looks like he's got Crown Royal back on his side. But what? Miuinga. この国を生かす。これで足なのよは開ける。What? <laughs> oh no. Here we 
we go. Why? Awarena Mangono Saying Mingaisha. What the hell? Was you a Kono Asinao? Who are you? Mingaira Seneba Naran. You any Sekiro. So this is the real boss. <laughs> so, oh my god, three? Oh Jesus, the damage! Oh yeah. So you can't stun him, really, can you? Okay, that's a jump attack. That, I don't know what that is. Um. This fight's weird. What are we doing? Is that what will work on him then? I honestly, oh shit. We have to beat Jenny just to beat. Oh my fuck you guys. I just realized that. Uh, how do you fight this guy? Oh, he got me. Wow, this is definitely not happening today, guys. <laughs> I just realized you have to feed Jen or defeat Jenny just to get to this guy. So there's four posture points then? Uh oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Wow. No wonder why you guys were like, what the fuck? Oh my god. I'm gonna do it again, but no way in hell. What is that? Is that a jump? What the fuck? <laughs> Today, not the day for this. Today is not the day for this, but I also really wanna, I wanna go again. That's a jump. Oh, <laughs> he says hesitation, and I do. I hesitate. I hesitate with him. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm getting tired, guys. I can't even beat this little shithead. <laughs> Hesitation is defeat. You fucking a-hole. That's it for today. <laughs> yeah, and I'll also admit my dumb dumb ass. I knew it was his grandpa. Like, I knew it was Ishin because that's his grandpa. But I also didn't really, like, sit and process the fact that 
this dark evil presence has basically brought Ishin back from the dead, but is forcing him to fight Sekiro, who he actually kind of admired and seemed to get along with while he was like in his later days and his basically dying moments. Um, it, it's kind of tragic when you really start to process it. I mean, he doesn't even agree with what his grandson is trying to do. So it really is kind of sad that he's been forced into that position that it has like stooped down to that low. But yeah, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I might end up <laughs> Luca's hacking up air balls. You go again. Fuck me. Such bullshit. It was like he's so close, guys. He's so close. <coughs> and I wasted that resurrect. I mean, there's no way, but what I need to try to do is learn his move set without. Fuck. Like, he's so strong. And he's so hard for me to read. And he does that shit. You're such a fuck. Just get away for a second. predict that movement. Too soon, just a bit too soon. You press it just a bit too soon. Oh, you have to be close to him. I see what it is, guys. Like, it's weird. Um, oh fuck, it all went back down. You're slow! Asian! Why are you so fucking slow? Please. 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 Fuck, it was a sweep. I 
Hey, okay, here we go again. <sighs> this guy, though, is such a pain in the ass. Okay, that's too late. I did it too late this time. Alright, a slower Makiri is what I need to remember. And he does the three Makiris. Fuck, I missed that one. Fucking deflect, you dumb shit! Uh, what just happened? Did you see that? I got stuck on something. That was kind of bullshit. I don't know what the fuck just stopped. I was mid run and I got stuck. Oh, yeah, the slow Makiri. And now we start over again. Okay, I have to keep track of the time. I'm just looking, so don't pay attention to me doing that. What? What? Okay, so he gets a spear in the second phase. Cool. This cool. This great. Fun times. Fun fun. And the whole, the whole experience changes. He is like on you, like nonstop, nonstop. Oh. Oh fuck off. I just want to live for a bit so I can see what to do, but I can't. I can't even live for a little bit, like... Oh, come on. Fuck. Sometimes I just get so scared. 
Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> Goodbye. You. Whoa, this one, not doing too bad. Pause. <laughs> Scared. We've got this as well. As well. Um, you know, I feel like this one we should really try. That reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Let's, let's do this. I can't get away. Let me heal, you fucker. Oh, it's three. scared oh my fuck okay well we're gonna take my heart is racing we should probably take this I'm so fucking scared. Oh no. I'm stuck. Fuck me. It keeps unlocking on. Oh, 
Fuck you. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay. What do we do? We don't have anything. We did so well, guys. We did so well. I almost had him. I almost had him and it was like... Oh, shit. That was like the one time I would have been able to maybe do it. I should have taken Divine Confetti as well. Mm -hmm. I wonder, guys. Can I go back to that girl and get some of that rice? That's... that... I might do that real quick. Okay, guys, I just took a little mini break and I honestly think that it threw me off worse. <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're back to Ishin again. And um I just I feel like my everything's been thrown off because I took a little break. Like my mic is pissing me off. It's weird. Sometimes it's like the littlest things that will just set you off, you know? Like. It's really kind of ridiculous if you think about it. a jump. I can't heal. I got scared, guys. I got scared. health. Fuck. Just don't take a break from this fight, guys. Oh 
my god. What BS? Done horrible this time round. All right, let's go ahead and try to take first. Let's take actually, let's take this. And then let's take... Fuck, I did it wrong. I'm doing everything wrong and I'm scared. Okay, let's go ahead and take this. Come here! Oh my god, did we do it? Oh, it was such a shitty fight. I did so shitty. I did it better the other time. What the fuck? Oh my god, we did it, guys! We did it! Oh no. Shinashina. It's sad. He didn't want to do any of that. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with the sculptor's idol and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. At his peak, Ishinashina devoted himself to deadly conflict in pursuit of strength, a single-minded killing machine of a man. Dragon Flash combat art that performs a high-speed cut from a she's stance. Charged to send out shockwaves, cost spirit emblems to use. In his younger years, Ishin was a devil with the sword, pending his days in pursuit of life, or spending his days in pursuit of life or death combat. He often ruminated on how a cut should be made, but his blade always moved first. Interesting. Poor guy. Okay, okay, I need a second though. Like, see, I don't even feel victorious. Like, that was just sad. It's just sad. I used everything I had, really everything if i didn't have the snow the the ironic thing is like the first time i almost got him down i feel like i did actually like a million times better and then the fight that i actually end up winning i did such shit guys i'm not proud of that win but we fucking did it we fucking did it is that the final boss is that is that him like did we did we do it can we save kuro okay let's go check this out so it's the Dragon Tears. Oh, Kuro. Dragon Tears and the Frozen Tears, guys. Okay. 
Give Divine Dragons Tears. Give Dragon's Tears and Ever Blossom. Give Dragon Tears and Frozen Tears. This is the one we want. I'll probably react and watch the other endings, but I'm not going to go through them myself, guys. This is not the time, Luca. Please don't ruin this. I have waited so long for this ending. Luca, please. Now is not the time. Oh, God, guys. I don't want to press any buttons. I'm scared it'll skip it. I can't tell him to be quiet. Did we do it? Did we do it? Kurodono. Ima wa doka yasrakani. Watashi no kokoro ni todomate kudasai. She's the cradle, right? I feel so emotional right now because it's the end of the game, like... Sayonara, minna. Oh, do the children get to go too? Watashi wa ikane ba narimasen. Ware ra no inga o tachikiru tame ni. Totemo nagai tabi ni narimasu. Sore demo tomo ni kite kudasaru no desu ka? Hoi. Yes. I'm so happy. Ryu's Shinobi. Oh my god. No, we did it! We did it! Oh my god! I can't believe it, guys! I can't believe it. I feel so fucking emotional right now. Like, I feel like I could cry. Just because, like, so many people said I would not make it to the end of this game. So many people in the comments said there's no effing way this girl's gonna make it through this entire playthrough and keep going. And, like, we did it. Guys, we fucking did it. We completed Sekiro. I'm just so happy and yeah, it's really heartwarming to basically see Kuro still alive within her in a way and also like Sekiro gets to go along with them. I don't know what the other endings are, so I I'm going to go ahead and watch those real quick and react to those but i, I kind of want to like soak in that ending before i look at those and kind of taint it because once you see like i know there's a bad ending and then i think there might be two other endings as well i can't believe we did it i can't believe we did it okay guys so it's definitely much later in the night i had to stop filming for a period of time to do a premiere um and then come back to this but basically I didn't really think it through how I was going to watch the other endings, but I'm just going to tell you and explain to you what I felt when I did watch them instead of like really, I couldn't get like live reactions, but thankfully the endings are quite short. We definitely got the best ending and that was basically the return ending. So Kuro was still alive within the Divine Child um, and Sekiro was still alive and they went off to the West. I'm 
really pleased that we got that ending just because the other ones have so many just sad pieces to it like really really sad pieces that you know after completing such a hard game I would have been I would have been so upset kind of first things first the sure ending which is the bad ending was traumatic to say the least I'm interested to go back and like watch exactly what those fights would have been like with Emma and Ishin um, in the present but basically Sekiro chooses to go against Kuro and then um, kills everybody or Ashura I can't even say it and yeah kills everybody and then it says at the very end that the demon there's a demon that is roaming the land so I'm guessing that maybe the demon of hatred that stays alive and basically well or he becomes that maybe you know some something must happen and I find that interesting to me is the old lady right after you kill the demon of hatred says like hopefully you don't become one yourself um, and that's kind of an interesting spin because in the immortal severance ending you kill Kuro you kill him you kill him and it's it's really honestly such a such a sad ending like I would have been pretty upset had I gotten that one myself but you kill him and then you basically turn into the sculptor it's like this weird foreshadowing type thing like it's interesting because I even thought in the beginning of the game a couple times like is this supposed to be Sekiro but like an older version of him you know it, it, it's weird I don't know if it means basically that he ends up becoming like the sculptor and then you know this situation just keeps playing out over and over again and like another shinobi will come and try to fix what was messed up but yeah that one's pretty traumatic because emma even shows up with the arm as well and it shows sekiro carving the little buddhist um wooden guys and it's just it's not an ending that i would have been pleased with like i, <laughs> I would have been pretty upset if i got that one then there was a purification ending and that one is basically the only way you can get that is if you kill Father Al in Harada Estate. So that leads to basically a really sad ending. Like, it's like the Immortal Severance one is feels messed up. It doesn't feel complete. It, it feels almost like, in a weird way, like a bad ending, but it's not. And then the purification ending is just sad. So in this one, Sekiro saves Kuro and kills himself sacrifices himself basically to purify everything and it just shows Kuro and Emma at his grave in the very end and Kuro kind of saying like he wants to continue living life to he wants to basically live for Sekiro he wants to do him justice and also thanks Emma um, for all the help that she gave them and and then I think he takes off, he he might end up traveling to the west or something, but really a sad ending, like that, that would have definitely made me cry, especially playing him the whole way through. I just, I wouldn't, I'm just glad I didn't go for that ending, because guys, I was, I was close to just saying screw it, you know, because I didn't know like if it was easy or going to be easy to get the return ending, but last minute y'all were like, you gotta do this stuff, you gotta do this stuff. And I'm so glad that I did. Thank you guys for telling me to do that because the return ending is the most satisfying in my opinion. Just having everybody kind of be alive and going with each other to the west. And I find it interesting that they're going to go find the divine dragon. I don't really know what that means. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't really know what that means. So I'm interested to see what you guys are going to say down in the comments below. I want to know... What does that entail? But yeah, we did it guys. We did it. My allergies are flaring up right now. It's like hard for me. I'm sniffing a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know when your nose gets really stuffy, but we fucking completed Sekiro and it feels fantastic. It feels so good to get through a game that people said I was not going to be able to get through. Everyone said I was not going to complete this. That, um... There's no way, it's too hard, and whatever. You know, they always say, like, girls can't game kind of thing. And, like, was it perfect? No, hell no. I'm not a pro gamer, guys. I joke about it all the time. 
but I enjoy the game. I enjoy the fight of it. I, I really thought Sekiro was beautiful. It was fucking beautiful. It was totally different than Bloodborne. It had a totally different feeling to it. I would feel like, or I would say it's a little bit less rewarding feeling than Bloodborne was, but at the same time, it might also just be because Bloodborne for me was like the first From game I ever played. And so that experience and sharing that with everybody was, I don't know, it was like big for me. It was really big for me to go through such a challenging game. I learned so much from Bloodborne. So then coming to Sekiro, I think it could have also been a little bit different because, you know, I'm, I'm not so so brand new to a From game. I understand like the difficulties of it. But overall, I really enjoyed this game. I'd say my favorite fight of all of it was Alfather and Heratus. A hands down favorite fight out of all of it. He was just so well done. He was so well done, guys. And like his punishments for doing certain things, he was just like, it was like the whole time he's teaching you. He's kind of teaching you like, okay, remember, you can't do this. You can't do that. Don't do this. Do this instead. It works if you do this. And like, it was another wall. Like, Jinichiro was the same thing. Like, he was this huge wall for me. Huge wall for me. Um, but Al Father just felt so good and so fun and when you actually got it down to point it it almost felt like you were in slow motion it was fucking cool to go into it the first couple times and be like god god he is going so fast and then towards like the last times that you play it everything feels like so fluid it's almost like this brain trip that you're having where it's like in slow motion it's fucking cool that was definitely my all-time favorite fight out of the entire game the fights that i died the most on were definitely jinichiro yes! Ginny, yes! you fucking a-hole he was so hard he was hard guys oh my god like i could it took me so many tries and then the demon of hatred was weird it wasn't that it it was hard per se, it was more like there was just a lot of things that didn't seem quite right with it, but it made it, it ended up making it hard. I don't know how to explain it, but that one also took a lot. The Corrupted Monk just irritated me. I don't know why. It was a beautiful fight, but it just irritated me for some reason. And then the final fight was just kind of, just really sad. It's sad that Yishin was forced to come back and kind of do something he didn't agree with. But yeah, again, I'm super interested to hear what were your favorite boss fights? What were your hardest ones? What were your least favorite boss fights? Um, just seeing how people experience this game differently is really cool to me that certain bosses were super easy and then other bosses are just like really hard for one individual and like everybody has kind of a different play style, I think. That in and of itself is cool because each playthrough is entirely individual to a person. But yeah, we did it guys. We fucking did it. We completed Sekiro. It's done. And now I am looking forward to Elden Ring. Mm, I want to play that. I want to play that game. I know everybody's been asking, am I going to play Dark Souls 3? That has been suggested so many times. Absolutely, I'm going to look into that game. Like, I, I, I'm i gonna play it. It's more about having enough time for a game of that size. And especially doing a From game back to back is pretty draining. So if anything, I would probably take a, a space from a From game just to like kind of relax a little bit. Cause we've been playing, we played Bloodborne for a really long time, um, took a break and then we had Sekiro and took a break. So I'm definitely gonna take a break before I go into um, another. Luca's moving around. It's been fun, guys. I loved having you through this entire playthrough supporting me because this game was hard. It was draining and it was hard and there were some moments where legitimately I had a breakdown from this game. Like, you have to take a couple days off because it is just so defeating at times. Um, but still one of those, like, you just feel so successful when you get done with it. You feel like you really did accomplish something. Like, it's another thing that I am proud of completing. But make sure to check out the links in the description. I do have a Patreon. I have a Discord if you want to take part in either of those.
leave a like if you enjoyed and thanks for watching guys